Come on, Irv Gotti Gay, what's our take? Oh, man. How do we unpack this? Uh, this is exactly what the culture needs us here for. Uh, is that what it is? Is it? The real The take. musicians are retired. All of them. So now this is what we will do. They talk. True. It's all a Black Mirror episode. It's all like a comic book episode. It's all like a spoof. It's like the What We Do video in real time now. What do we unpack from this? Why, why is this important? I feel like we did this already with the whole why is Earth still talking about Ashanti? Now Fat Joe has chimed in uh, to give his opinion on it. All these people know each other. They're all 20 years and over, and you would think that there's another way to resolve stuff like this, but Irv has a dot coming. In the name of the content, I think is what's going on a lot, too. Or the rollout? I mean, that's part of it, too, yeah. Why can't the content just speak for itself? Like, this got to be a preview? Well... I think this is hard. Because this works. Yeah. That's why. Niggas are going to go and check it out. A lot of people might not have known this was coming. That Irv interview is at like 2 million right now. Wow. In a day or two. Based on? Based on whatever he's saying. Bullshit. Whatever this is. Yeah. This is why people do it. I was about to say. They see results from it. I was just about to say. So now you can't even knock a nigga when they do some goofy shit because the results are what they're going to be. You can still knock them. Well, yeah, you could. You can still knock him because so what? You don't, that don't mean because at fifty go, years old, this is yeah. corny to me. Do you and, care about the knock if you're selling your doc? Wow, he still got it. <laughs> yeah, because that means you dumbing yourself down and you're doing goofy shit just for the sales. And at fifty, yeah. you've been rich for a long time. On the internet, they do it for clout. At exact level, you do it for money. Why do I care about that if I'm seeing eight and nine figures on the back end? Is what I'm saying. I guess. I mean, in my opinion, at some point, your integrity got to speak for itself. So the money, I mean, you for sale. Well, no, because that's just one aspect of it. The other side is I'm hurt. I loved her, and I felt like I was done wrong, and I put money up as an investor only for her to turn around and try to fuck me at every chance she gets. That's his story. That's it. I was about to say. That's his that's story. That's his side. So her side could be, nigga, you just sold our catalog for $100 million. That could be her side. My thing is what we yeah, did. Yeah, but that, that that wouldn't be rooted in fact. Where's his doc? That would be that would be an emotion. His doc's on a a, a network because he too. can't BG. sell something she owns. True. That's but, what I'm saying. But so what? Point, so, you got to refer back to what's so on the cool. paper. What he's saying is rooted in emotion too. I loved her, so that means you 20 years later say some goofy shit publicly about what we shared in our bedroom. Fuck is you talking about? So now one could be rooted in fact, one could be rooted in emotion, but that's emotional. So sharing facts could be goofy. Absolutely. Yes. Oversharing could be goofy, period. What do you mean? Yes. That shit I mean, ain't anybody business. If you share business. something in intimacy, it could be factual, but for you to tell the whole fucking world yeah. on a podcast, it's goofy. Yes. If one of your ex-girlfriends got up here and talked about shit that y'all shared and y'all pillow talked and blah, 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 that's fucking goofy. Even if she's doing it and getting it clout all of it and making yeah. a doc yeah. and making money, it's still goofy Absolutely. shit, though. Absolutely. Thousand percent. Still goofy shit. You and niggas do the goofy shit every day and just chalk it up to, yeah, but like, look at he the numbers. He made a bag. Yeah, look he made this. a bag. I made yes. this off of it. So what? Yes. You still did goofy shit to make it. So where do we stop that? Because again, even the jokers that's, that's why I don't like content, podcast culture, yo. Podcast culture where we all get to judge the house standing outside the house. Everybody has been there before. So I mean, yeah, niggas do goofy shit over the girl that you like a lot. Not or at over 50 the girl and 20 love. years later? No, yes. Not me. Uh, I've never done that. Well, th- then you're a dragon. You're, you're, I don't, you're I don't. a unicorn then, but... You've done that over some talk, 20 years I'm, later? I'm speaking to the people that still bug out. No, maybe mine wasn't 20 years. Maybe it was 10. Maybe it was 8. I'm not trying to match numbers. I'm trying to match experiences. I'm trying to identify because everybody's done something goofy over the name of a woman that they love. Absolutely. I agree with that. That, But no, but it's a cutoff, Joe. It's what a cutoff. What is that cutoff? If you still Explain talk, it to us. So we, I'll give you an example, the one that you can identify with. We've sat on a pod and your exes have said X, Y, Z, certain shit about you. Once something you say or do becomes public, you look at it like it's goof. When you said the shit about being bisexual and some of your exes came forward, you thought them bitches was goofy and we all agreed. So now you for him, like twenty dollars. But go ahead. <laughs> so for him to go, get up there and do that, it's fucking goofy. Still, yeah, it's goofy. It's goofy. I don't give a fuck who doing it. It could be my brother, my sister, my. It's goofy. 
You a 50-something-year-old wealthy man, so for you to get up there and talk about a girl that you don't know could potentially be in a relationship with another nigga now I'm, is goofy. I'm only playing devil's advocate I know. here. I will I'm say you I'm not trying to... Let me just get this okay, point okay, Was it goofy? And I'm speaking... Because I watched that Drink Champs interview. I did. I was laying in bed one morning and clicked on it by mistake on YouTube, and it was so riveting that I stayed for the whole... Like, they was giving it up in that interview. He's very entertaining. Dude. And what I'm asking you, by his words, is it goofy when she tries to cut him out of whatever percentage or whatever it's ownership business. deal that he has? No. So it's not goofy. No, listen to what I'm saying. So in business, goofiness allegedly can be understood. But when it comes to emotion, it cannot. And that's where I have a problem with your take. To that, you guys say. To me, when you're conducting business, you could be doing fuck shit in business. That's not goofy. It might be immoral. It might be, but again, in business. Which is goofy to me. Listen, everybody has their side. He might think it's goofy. She might not. We she, don't know all, right, of, all, all right. the terms. We don't know all the stuff. So she could potentially look at it like, yo, I'm trying to get mine. You trying to get yours. Mm -hmm. But when you start talking about emotional shit, which he's talking about at 50, not just that. Let's just keep it real. Irv is bigger than this. He's one of the most prolific niggas. When you start interviewing him and you cut that camera on, he know how to entertain people. What I will, Irvin, that's what he's doing. Irvin. He's amazing. He's doing that show. He know he what he got to do that. You know what? Let me jump in here. And I, I hate to sound like I'm defending Irv because I am not. But he's not bigger than this. And he's not doing this for the camera. That's Irv Gotti, yo. True. I, I promise y'all. It, it is. Off cam, on cam, he's, he's 30 like, what years. What I'm saying is that he nigga's that loud. On. He is. But if the camera was off, he don't know another way to cut there. Joe, what I'm saying we is. Saying, we saying he should learn one. No, what I'm saying is that how many times have we had a conversation with nigga off camera that you know he would not have on camera? No. Or that's that he what, should. That he should. Should. I'm only talking about one man, though. True. And that one man, there's a few of those men who, how they give it up is just how, they, that's Dame. True. There's a few men that just how they give it up is how they give it up. Yes, this is in bad taste. Yes, this is horrible if you're Ashanti Nelly or any party involved. If you love Ashanti, all of this is bad. You don't want to see him speak about a woman the way he spoke about her. But you got to understand there's mad emotion there. Like Fat Joe's responding, he can't respond to the emotion that Herb Gotti is feeling and some of the shit he was saying. You know, 20 years later, I, when I sit down and do interviews, niggas ask me about Pump It Up. I always be like, yo, this song is mad old, yo. I've told the story a million times. I don't feel like talking about it. But if it's a classic, so they're going to ask me about it. If the niggas sit down and they start asking them about classics and the story is saucy, a part of me does appreciate that you told me the saucy version of this story. I know on podcasts, we all got to be Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. <laughs> but... I get a little bit of that. It's, it's, uh, I don't. But I'm not refuting you guys' yeah, point. Yeah. We can that, agree to disagree. Yeah. I, I just don't. But I, we don't disagree because I think it's goofy. Like at, at that level, dog. But this should be some understanding. I'm here. I'm here to understand today. I, like at that level. Mm -hmm. And now, what, what what happens in her household? I don't know. Honestly, nor, honestly does does he. It's 20, 20, nor does he. It's 20 years ago. I'm pretty sure her household was probably all right, too. Not for nothing. All right, cool. I still think it's goofy, but I don't think this brought anybody's roof down. So what y'all are saying is, and I want to I wanna keep this receipt, is that he should find another way to sell his doc. I was going to say that. Or or promote and market. I was gonna say, I w being that this, this is all. That's why I asked what network was on. I was like, damn, I wish that the network was doing more to promote it, so he didn't feel like he had to do this. But you said that this is him naturally, and I've seen enough interviews to know this is probably him naturally. So maybe that's a moot point at this point. I guess. I just think it's whack. I think it's whack when girls do it. I've spoken on here before. I think it's whack when chicks do it. I'm not going to say it's not whack when Irv does. And I, but and that's why I I'm taking and admire that. What you just said is why I take is why I'm arguing this position on this podcast. Because women have put books out, and mm -hmm. I have killed them for being goofy and spilling the dirty deeds mm -hmm. and the secrets. And what they always say to me is, "This is my business, True. and I'm telling my story." True. Mm -hmm. And that's when I got to shut the fuck up. Because what do you say in response to that? You say. Well, you could not share it, but who are we to tell him not to no, share it? No, you can say that that's his business too, and how that affects his life whole, like household, pardon me, should 
you should have some compassion for that, maybe. I don't know. Now, the sick part is that Herb was married. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> now, I didn't want to say it. That's the, you sick know what I mean? part. the sick Man. part. Because your question was, when does this stop or something like that? And one would think that that would be when it would stop, but I don't know his personal life, so I'm staying out of it. Fam. <laughs> but he usually said, that would be that, the... Though. He said it. He said, I went home. I, like, I he said, yo, I wife. had to go home to my wife after I found out she was fucking with a nigga. I, I found out with a nigga publicly. I mean, see, now found we, out publicly. See, now we talking. Because he got killed for saying that. But again, I... A small part of me appreciated that honesty, honesty. in the content that space. You know how many times niggas got to go home to their girl, but the girl that they really feeling and they're holding them down, that's who they missing? Now, it's arguments there. You got to go in the house and keep that, keep that. Lo- it's a whole. It's a lot of that. It's a whole lifestyle that comes with that. I did appreciate that. Yes, I know Irv is in bad taste <laughs> in this moment. New Joe Biden. <laughs>